On this episode, the Chanel. The Chanel is the world's largest. As you know, I am passionate about cars and art, and today I'm going to show how I'm combining these two passions, which is AI technology and art, and uh, I'm gonna try and combine the two for my 1978 Toyota Chinook camper truck. I want it to be retro, and I want it to have some of a modern look to it, but I thought that it would be really cool um, to use AI. Honestly, it was Tyler's idea, um, and I had to go with it because I love AI right now, and I'm just, I'm, I've gone down the rabbit hole with AI. We'll use AI to generate my title, my thumbnail, my description, and the graphic on this truck. Originally, the Omega came here. It was really faded. The truck hamper was equipped with a 20R engine. This one, however, has a 22R brand new engine that has been swapped in here, which is really nice. Uh, it makes it really exciting for the next owner. If you don't know, the 20R is known for its reliability, fuel efficiency, making it a really practical choice for uh, those looking to save money on the gas prices that there are today. So think about it. For an all-around vehicle, this one's great. You can live in it, you can road trip in it, and save fuel and, you know, more smiles for miles. Mm -hmm. and some fun facts, because uh, fun facts are great. Who doesn't love learning? Uh, is the world's largest producing ma uh, manufacturer, producing more than like 10 million cars a year, which is crazy. Toyota had the first uh, vehicle that was built in 1936. They called it the double A or the triple A. The first Toyota pickup was the Stout, and that was introduced in 1954. And the Stouts are super cool. The Hilux pickup truck is one of the most popular vehicles in the world, with over like 18 million uh, sold worldwide. It, it's insane. They're everywhere, and I love them. And they're produced since 68, uh, so they're great. The Forerunner as well, in uh, 1984 when it was started to be produced. The Land Cruiser, uh, which was first introduced in uh, 5051, um, was obviously one of the most iconic off-road Toyotas that's out there and now extremely expensive. Uh, the Chinook, the Omega camber truck was another really popular choice. The 70s to the 80s and they are just unique and a combination of uh, fun and reliability. So get one, get some. The Toyota Chinook Omega camper trucks as well was built on the truck cap, uh, chassis of the Hilux, as you know, and it's a fiberglass shell. Camper was also available in other various uh, models, uh, the Newport, the Shasta, the Trail Wagon, and then the Omega and the Chinook. Let's set everything up here and uh, get AI ready. And then I'm going to show you what I do and hopefully it gets us some good results. Brand new chat with ChatGPT. Found uh, you don't, don't apologize, don't say please. Uh, you want it to work for you, right? You can get basic answers out of it. Like I'll type something basic in here, but I want it to be strictly uh, intelligent in what I, what I require. Anyways, okay. Today... You are an assistant. I can spell. Writing for my YouTube. Oh. 
Okay, let's see what it generates here. Right away, okay. In this video, we will be using blah 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 blah. So exactly what it's saying here is exactly what I'm going to do. Then we're going to go on to the next AI. Okay, my brainstorming is going really slow. I have to make sure I go to an appointment at 1 to acupuncture because I'm still messed up from the accident. But I'm feeling a little bit better, so that's nice. Anyway, so let's get this, this prompt down and going. Uh, so I've got retro, vintage, slightly modern, Toyota themed, teary colors, um, west coast feel. That might add too much detail, but I didn't do the slash, but that's okay. A retro, vintage, slightly modern. So it basically just it reworded what I said so that I'll get maximum use out of mid journey. So let's try it in mid journey now. Okay, so now I'm in mid journey, um, and I'll admit I'm really not super uh, skilled in it yet, but I'm learning. So recently I learned um, how to import an image into it. So I took a photo of the truck and I think I'm gonna try and input the image in there. Okay, so as per usual, I stopped recording, got busy doing something else, and forgot to finish the recording. So here's what Mid Journey looks like, and here are all the different prompts that I actually went through. Um, There's so many. I wanted it to be super cool and retro and like just really cool and artsy, but I figured just we needed something more simple and to get it done. the photo of the Chinook that I took and then I just uh, uploaded it to Midjourney and uh, copied the link from the upload and put it back into Midjourney as a prompt and wrote all my prompts. They always need changing because I can never get it right. And so this is what I got. There's so many. And let's go to actually putting the design on the vehicle. Took a lot more time than I thought. 